The Study Center Grade 8 ANA Exam Review Formats Part 2 Question 2.3 Answer the following questions 2.3.1 Write down the LCM of 12 and 48 2.3.2 Write down all the factors of 28 Then write down the prime factors of 28 Question 2.3 the least common multiple, or LCM, of two numbers is the smallest number that they both divide evenly into. One good way to find the least common multiple of two numbers is to multiply both numbers by 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, and then find the first multiple that appears in both lists. So for our question 2.3, 12, 24, 36, 48, which is like the first one, 60, 72, 7, 84, 96. And then for the second number that we had, 48 and 96. So 48 is the common number. A factor that is a prime number, one of the prime numbers that when multiplied give the original number. Example, the prime, num the prime factors of 15 are 3 times 5, and 3 and 5 are your prime numbers. So all of our factors for 24 is 8, 6, and 4. Question 2.3.1, the LCM of 12 and 48 is 48. Question 2.3.2, .2, the factors of 28 are... 1, 2, 14, 4, and 7. And then the prime factors of 28 are 2 and 7. Question 2.4. Calculate the average speed of a car that traveled 720 kilometers in 6 hours. Question 2.4. 720 kilometers divided by 6 hours is equal to 120 kilometers per hour. So we use the formula of speed is equal to distance over time. Question 2.5. Fill in the missing number and the sequence below. Negative 1, negative 4, negative 7, x, negative 13, and negative 16. Question 2.5. Remember that number patterns have a relationship with each other, something in common that works for the whole pattern. In this case, the pattern is decreasing by negative 3. So therefore, the missing number is negative 10. Question 3.1.1. Calculate each of the following. Negative 4 minus negative 2 plus negative 3 minus 4. Question 3.1.1, remember to use board math, which is our brackets first, then our orders, then division or multiplication, and then addition or subtraction. So therefore, the answer for this question will be negative 9. Question 3.1.2, 3 and 2 over 3 minus 7 over 12. Write the answer as a mixed number. Question 3.1.2. Remember that mixed numbers has a part that is a whole and a part that is a fraction. So a improper fraction, the numerator would be bigger than the denominator. Therefore, it is an improper fraction. So the answer for our question is 3 and 2 over 3 minus 7 over 12 is equal to 3 and 8 over 12 minus 7 over 12, which will give you 3 and 1 over 12. Question 3.1.3. .3. 1 and 2 over 3 times 5 over 6. Write the answer as a mixed number. Answer for 3.1.3. .3. 1 and 2 over 3 times 5 over 6. Remember, you must multiply the numerators. 5 over 3 times 5 over 6, you must multiply the denominators to give you 6 over 20. Therefore, your answer is 1 and 7 over 18. So you reduce the fraction if it is necessary. Question 3.1.4. 2 over 5 divided by 1 over 2. The answer for 3.1.4 
2 over 5 divided by 1 over 2. You will invert the fraction that you are dividing by. So therefore, your answer is 2 over 5 times divided by 2 over 1. So therefore, you, you multiply the numerators and the denominators. Therefore, your final answer is 4 over 5 once you have simplified the fraction if it is necessary. Question 3.1.5. 4% of 500 is what? Remember percentages on a calculator, 39% of 82, you change it to a decimal and then you multiply. So it is 0 0.39 times 82. And that's how you get to percentage. So from a fraction to percent, 15 over 20 is equal to 75 over 100, therefore that is 75%. Or you can also calculate as 15 divided by 20 times 100 will give you 75. Without a calculator, 50% is half, 25% is half of half, 75% is 50% plus the 25%, the 10% you divide by 10, 5% you have the 10% and 20% you double the 10%. If your percentages are increasing, so you'd increase 60 pounds by 12%, therefore 12% of 60 is equal to 0 0.2 times 60, which is equal to 7.20 pounds. So your new amount would be the 60 pounds plus the 7.20 pounds, therefore your answer is 67 and 20. If it is decreasing, if you decrease your 60 pounds by 12%, 12% of 60 pounds will give you 0 0.12 times 60, which is equal to 7.20. Your new amount would be 60 pounds subtracted by the 7 pounds and 20 cents, Therefore, your final answer would be £52.80. Question 3.1.5. 4 over 100 times 500 is equal to 2,000 over 100. If you simplify it further, it is 20. 1 over 25 times 500 is 500 over 25. And if you simplify it further, it is 20. Percentages of amounts. To find a percentage of an, an amount, change the percent into a fraction and then multiply them. So, what is the 25% of 200? 25% is equal to 25 over 100. If you multiply the fraction and the amount, 25 over 100 times 200 will give you 50. Question 3.2. Currently, my bank balance is 2,000. What will the new balance be if I withdraw 600 from the account in each of the next three months? Question 3.2. Balance beginning is 2,000 Rand. So the first month I subtract 600 Rand. The second month I also subtract another 600 Rand. And then in the third month I also subtract 600 Rand. The balance at the end is 200 Rand. Question 3.3. Peter ate a fifth of his 250 Smarties. How many Smarties were left? Question 3.3. He ate a fifth, which is equal to 50. Therefore, he has 250 minus the 50 that he ate. What is left over is 200. Or we can calculate a fourth over fifth of 250 is 1000 divided by 5 which will give you 200 or you can also calculate 1 over 5th times 200 1 over 5th times 250 over 1 therefore it is 250 over 5 and your answer is 50 which you will subtract from the 250 question 3.4 Calculate how much interest Mr. Jones owned if he borrowed 10,000 at 15% per annum simple interest for a period of three years. Question 3.4. Simple interest formula. 
So your SI, which is your simple interest, is equal to your principal times interest rate times time over 100. Where? So your SI is the total simple interest payable. Your principal is the sum of money on which the interest is to be earned. Interest is the percentage at which interest accrued over time. Time is the length of period in years. So your answer for 3.4 is at 10,000 times 15 times 3 divided by 100 is equal to 45,000. Thank you for watching Steady Center, turning ordinary learners into extraordinary leaders.